Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trail Makers tutorial. Today I am going to be building an amphibious vehicle and for those of you who don't know what an amphibious vehicle is, it's a vehicle that can drive both on land and sea. And for this build guys, I'm actually going to be taking inspiration from modern day APCs. So we have our build in mind, let's get building. Alright guys, so for this build, I'm going to be using the operator seat, because the seat will be inside the build. And then I'm going to grab myself some medium pontoons. And I'm just going to place like a whole bunch of them. And then once I've placed them all, I can start making a frame around the pontoons. Alright, well, that seems pretty good to me. So now let's start adding some blocks here. And now we have something that's holding the whole thing together. I want to start making this thing be able to drive. So for this build, I'm going to be using the truck wheel. And I'm just going to place a few around the build like so. I'm not going to attach them just yet. And now that they're in place, I can start working on getting everything attached. So let's grab a 2x4 here. And then now we can start adding some uh, 1x4s, like so. And then for these wheels, guys, make sure you add some hinges. And it looks like these wheels need to go down one, so that's what we're going to do here. Let's put all the wheels down by one. And making sure these back wheels will be connected. So let's just put some pieces in like so. And let's just use these block pieces like so. And finish everything off with another 2x4. There we go. Now all those gaps are now filled. So if we just give that a quick test, guys. Yes, the wheels do in fact work. Alright, so now I just want to stick an engine in the middle of this thing. And we're just going to see how well we float on the ocean. Uh, and that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with the way that's floating right now. However, we do need some underwater propulsion, so I'm going to grab the outboard engine and stick it in this gap I left here. And because those wheels are turning, it's actually letting me turn, which is quite unique. However, I do want to add some sort of turning mechanism to make this thing turn a little faster. So now we're just going to fill in all the gaps that we've left behind here. And I'm going to add myself a helicopter engine inside this build. And I'm just going to stick it there like so. And then keybind everything so it works in my favor. So now the helicopter engine should give us some turning, better turning when we're in the ocean. And we can drive forward. So that's the general gist of the amphibious mode all finished now, guys. So now we can get to work on making this thing look really nice. For this build, I really want to utilize these wedge pieces and I want to make it kind of curve in just underneath the frame here. And I want to do that all the way around the entire build. Making sure everything's connected to the frame. And I should start having something like this. And really now, guys, I'm just going to work on the entire outside of the body. So we're really quickly, we're just going to fill in as much as we can here. All right, so now this is looking a little bit more filled in. Uh, I've finished the bottom half, but now I'm going to work on the top half. And I'm just going to utilize all these wedge pieces once again, guys. And guys, whilst I'm making this, you guys can do whatever you want to make a build amphibious. It doesn't have to be an armored personnel carrier like mine. It could be, uh, for example, it could be a rescue vehicle. It could be something you could use on the high seas. You know, really go out the way using your imagination, guys, and you can build whatever you want in this game. Now, because it is an armored personnel carrier, I do want to add some armor. So... Let's go into the blocks here and grab our shield pieces. And then I just want to see how many I can stick on this thing, really. A couple on the sides like so. And you know what? Maybe a few on the front of the build. 
And then I'm just going to fill in all the gaps, really, with the small 1x2 shield pieces. And we could also use some on the back here. To fill in this gap here, guys, I'm going to use the front grill that you find in the accessories. I'm going to slap one right there, deleting this 1x2, and I'm actually going to swap that out for... If we go into our wedge pieces here, I'm going to grab this rounded inverted piece and stick it like so. So now it kind of looks like there's an escape or like a tube kind of for this uh, underwater propeller. And I just want to give this thing a quick test really quickly, guys. And yes, we are in fact moving on the ocean. Now, this is supposed to be a big, heavy, armored truck that can go on the water, so it is slow. And that's all part of the design, really. But we're just going to go onto land here and see how good the transition is from going from water to land. And... Very good. Nice and smooth. A very good transition there, guys. Okay, so I've just added a couple lights there on the front and smoothed out the corners a little bit better. And now I think this thing is ready for some nice decal work and a paint job. Alright guys, I have finished my APC. Now this thing looks really good. As you can see, I've added a bunch of decals to make the effect that this thing has got really muddy and really dirty, you know, on the underside of the build here. And I also have added a turret, you know, because it wouldn't be an APC without its defense. So, we're going to give this thing a quick test, gain some acceleration, and then hopefully... We can go from land to sea in a very seamless transition. Awesome. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way this thing's turned out, guys. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. Uh, I definitely see this thing uh, defending the ocean and the lands. Boom! Fire! <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope I helped out making you guys understand how to make a very simple amphibious vehicle in Trail Makers. If you want to see more videos like this one, definitely leave a like, and why not leave a comment down below to tell me what you guys want to see me build next. But anyhow, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.